the Vietnam moving wall is coming to one place in Mississippi. How did it get to Yazoo? Well, the great story about that is our chairman of Yazoo Salutes the Troops, Pat Brock, wrote a letter to the moving wall. Yazoo County has seen some natural disasters in the past five years. 2010, two tornadoes turned right back to back. 2011, a flood. This county worked really well together, pulled themselves out, and helped put people back in homes. The moving wall committee was so moved by that, they bumped us to the top of the waiting list, and on October 29th, we will be hosting the moving wall here in Yazoo City, Mississippi. For people who don't know anything about the moving wall, is it an exact replica of what's in D.C.? It is a half-size replica, and half-size is a terminology that you should use kind of loosely. It's 250 feet long, which is the exact length but it's six feet tall, which is half the height, but it sits on about foot and a half platform, so it makes it almost eight feet tall. Black aluminum panels, so it emulates the black granite that's of the Vietnam Wall in D.C. It's the only congressional sanctioned moving wall memorial, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in D.C. And it's gonna be some unique things to Yazoo whenever it comes here, right? Can you ex explain a little bit about those? Well, like the flags. Okay, okay. I was like, wait a minute, are we talking about the witch now? See, you know, I got the witch. <laughs> I'm like, did my <laughs> Okay. Um, yes, so the great thing, one of the things that we're going to have an opportunity to allow for people is to recognize their veterans. Um, not just Vietnam veterans, but any veteran from World War II, World War I, Civil War, and we're going to have flags. We have over 100 sponsored, and there'll be 50 directly behind the wall, and there'll be 50 around the perimeter of the property. Each flag will have a number, and the number will cor correlate with a family member that's honoring or in memory of a veteran. A couple more things. There's going to be a candlelight service. It'll be a candlelight service on November 1st. Um, the Yazoo County Ministerial Association and First Baptist Church, Church of Yazoo City is doing that whole re remembrance ceremony. We're going to remember the nine from Yazoo County that are on the wall. Um, in addition to that, there's two more from Louise and Lexington. One gentleman, Milton Olive, received a Medal of Honor from Lexington. He's buried in Ebenezer. And then we have a gentleman from Louisiana that we're, rec I mean Louisiana, Louise, that we're recognizing as well. So we are, we are going to have a moment to remember the importance of what this wall symbolizes and the sacrifices that those 58,000 plus people made when they were in Vietnam and around that part of the world during the 60s and 70s. Some people may not understand what an undertaking it has been to get prepared for this wall, but uh, the concrete behind you is just an example of that, right? Yes, we're standing at the old Yazoo Motors parking lot. Web car dealership. Baptist Hospital bought it a couple years ago and they were gracious enough to donate the property to us. However, it's still, this was where the mile wide tornado came through. So it was demolished in 2010 and we pretty much had to clean it from scratch, plant the grass behind me. We laid the concrete last week. Um, we've painted uh, the post, tore down post. It's been a, about a four month project and a lot of volunteer hours. And to wrap it up, if people want to visit the wall, what do they have to do? All you have to do is come to Yazoo City, Mississippi. It's the first red light. Take a left. You'll see the wall. If you want some more information, you can go to the moving wall, YazooCountyMS.org. You can contact the Yazoo County Chamber of Commerce. 